So what we're trying to do today is get a good sample from this oat crop. We have uh, a huge long oat crop here exposed uh, with sulfides and schistose rock. You can see you have obvious staining where it's quite a bit darker uh, than your host rock. And where the staining is, is where you have some sulfide stringers. So I got my prospecting partner over there, and what he's doing is he's sampling a vein over there, and then he's going to make his way up top and walk along there, see what he can find. We're going to pull a sample or two from here. And uh, we'll see uh, what comes out of that. So today is another day of sampling logging roads and uh, seeing what we can find here. And seeing what's worthwhile. We want to uh, check out this entire outcrop. Check out the, the rest of the outcrop down the ways. So right here... You have uh, more weakly mineralized sulfide veins. You can see you have sulfide staining right there, and of course your oxide staining. All right, so we have a few samples here. Weakly mineralized. We have a grab sample from below the vein, which is almost pure sulfides. Okay. Another chip sample from the vein. You, know, you can see quartz, calcopyrite, pyrite in there, maybe a little pyrotite. Pretty decent sample so far. Another chip from the outcrop. And then over here, we just dug this one up off the road. So I'll give this a hammer and see what's inside. Feels pretty heavy, so I'm assuming it's mostly solid mineral. And then I just noticed this right now too. Another uh, schistose piece of rock with sulfides on it, so getting quite a few samples so far. So, prospecting partner is pulling up a sample from here. So, this is what he's got so far. Uh, this is what I got. Not too bad. Almost pure sulfides. So, another decent sample. And then I just picked these up too. These are crab samples from the middle of the logging road. We're going to catalog most of these and uh, we're going to send some in for testing as well. And we're going to keep looking here and see if we can find a few more. Another uh, couple grab samples here.
Then we have this one that uh, we were going to hammer open. There we go. Very, very nice. Massive sulfides. That's an awesome sample right there. Another grab sample here. Nice thin vein of sulfides. You can see you have some nice coarse grain pyrite in there. Nice hunk of pyrite there. So there's a lot of grab samples here. I would say we're finding more grab samples than we are uh, from the actual vein itself. The main vein and then uh, all the other small stringers. So we have a ton of rock here to search. Lots and lots of uh, sulfide stringers. See more there. So the logging company so graciously piled this up for us when they were building the road. More sulfides. This looks like it uh, was a nice looking vein, about five centimeters wide of solid sulfides. I'll hammer this open and see uh, what's in this. All right, so we hammer that open. You can see you have quartz, calcopyrite, pyrite, coarse and fine grained. Another decent sample. more there so awesome samples we're finding today and uh, I hope we find the exposure where these come from we haven't seen any veins this wide on the outcrop uh, they're mostly under about three centimeters in size, but we have a lot of log and road to search. We'll probably only get to uh, a little bit more today. We've got a windstorm coming, so we don't want to uh, get caught in that and all the fallen trees. Looks like you got quite a bit of pyrotite in there. I'll take this sample. Probably won't send it in, but we got enough decent samples. So there's tons of rock to search. And uh, we're about done here for today with this outcrop. crop. 
So, if you liked the video, give us a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time.